dude. I'm loving the new tune you got working. I think I figured it out. I don't know if you're using the same fingering or not, but I think it goes a little something like this. Sounds pretty legit. I love the patterns. Uh, I love the notes you chose. One thing you could <clears throat> uh, maybe throw in there to develop it, uh, using the original pattern, only change one note from the sixth fret of the third string, which is in the pattern sounds like this, that note, and move it up to a seventh, making it a bar chord. And I think that melts a little more <clears throat> into uh, maybe the scale that you're using. Uh, I don't know too much about the music theory, unfortunately, uh, but I know just to the ears, this note stands out, uh, which is fine, but it might be a little strong. So just in noodling with it, uh, I came up with this. As opposed to the original. Uh, one thing I usually do when I'm noodling, usually I come up with a lick that's within like five frets. So, uh, just to spice it up or just to try to find a new lick or a new chord progression, I always go down, whatever lick I come up with, I always go down a third. So a third is actually two frets down. So if your first note is on the fifth fret of the original lick, then you move it down to the third fret. So playing that pattern over and then going down another fret, it would sound like this, uh, using the new, the one new note that I included. Something that's really common in grunge is that when they bring that pattern back, they go to the low notes and they go up a third, up in thirds. So starting on the fifth fret, And then to bring that back, they go very common. I have this tuned in drop D since your first note was on a D. So she wants the D. Anyway, uh, since I have it in drop D, uh, what's cool is that just to do a bar chord, you just need one finger. But if you use the same pattern that you normally would in regular tuning for a bar chord, it creates this kind of, I don't know, they're haunting chords to me, but I love those chords, and you can only make those chords if you're in drop D, uh, because otherwise you'd have to like stretch seven frets. So putting those three elements together, the one new note, going down the third fret and bringing it up, the tune would sound like this. Played a wrong note there, but I think you get it. So, uh, just some thoughts for <clears throat> developing the song. There's a lot of neat things you could do. Um, even just using the original notes that you had. But yeah, I'll keep dinking with it, and maybe we can actually write a song together. That'd be pretty freaking legit. So anyway, dude, uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.